G'day guys, Steve Galvin from Tech Angler. The question I often get asked is how do I do a software update for my active target unit? Been asked by numerous of my clients in recent weeks, so I thought I'd make a short video just to show you how easy it is to do a software update on your active target. So first of all, just go to Google Chrome, type in Lawrence, go to Lawrence website, Okay, so once we're on the Lawrence website, we go to the top of the page and select the help and support section. So click on there. Just scroll down slightly. You see software updates. Click on software updates. Now here we just uh, click on this section, the download section, and we scroll down to active target. Click on active target. Scroll down a fraction to the bottom of the screen, you'll see where software, active target software 20.3. So we'll click on that, that's the latest software update for active target. I'll just go, uh, just go through some of the features, some of the improvements with this latest software update. You'll see it was released on the 8th of June. Um, down the bottom of the screen, this blue button here, we just click on download active target software 20.3. I'll skip this section. I've already registered my device, so I'll skip this section. Now here we just click on the green button, download your file. As you see in the bottom of the corner, it's downloading to my computer. As you can see, we've successfully downloaded the Active Target 20.3 software update. So let this PC folder, double click on that. The top left hand corner of the screen, we go to Downloads folder. Click on that, open that folder up. As you can see at the top of the screen, Active Target 20.3. So I want to transfer this file onto an SD card, a micro SD card. So I can then upload it onto my sounder. So what I'll do here is right click, go copy. Now I scroll down to rem removal disk E. So on my computer, that's where my SD card is. Open that folder up. As you can see, I've got some files already on this card, but I've got plenty of room for this software update. So I go right click on the mouse and then go paste. As you can see, we successfully transferred the Active Target file onto our SD card. We're now ready to uh, take the card out of the computer and head to the sounder. So we've done the software update onto our SD micro SD card. We put the card into our unit. Okay, we make, we make sure our um, active target module box is on. One thing that is very important to do here this step, when you've uh, got your active target module box on and you're out of the water, or you're moving between fishing spots, always put your transducer in the stop mode. So we just go more options, stop sonar. So it's a very, very important that you do this, especially when your active target transducer is out of the water. So once we know we've, uh, we've stopped our active target transducer and we've got the module box on, on our home screen, we go to storage. Okay, so got, HCS has got two card slots. I've only got the bottom card in. I'll set the bottom card. You can see the files on. I've got ch some charts on here, but I'm just going to go down to active target 20.3. Going to click on that file there. I'm just going to select the upgrade. Okay, so we'll bring it to remote upgrade. You see the active device name, active target. A little box up the right hand side. I'm going to put a tick in there. All right, so we've got that selected now. I'm just going to go start up, click the bottom right hand corner, select start upgrade. As you can see, the up update is transferring and extracting the files from my SD card and putting it onto the active target. This just takes a couple of minutes. As you can see, it's rebooting the module box. 
monitor the progress. It's important here that you keep power onto your, your module box as well as your sounder. You don't want to lose power at this stage. As you can see, upgrade is now complete. Our active target has been successfully upgraded. Got the latest software update, 20.3 on it. So there you go, guys. Our active target module box has been successfully upgraded. See you next time.